Hey guys, we are going to take a little diversion from our normal and we're gonna go change the oil on the jet ski. All right guys, what we have here is a Yamaha VX1100 Cruiser. It's a 2015 Wave Runner and we're gonna change the oil. So in order to get to that, you've got two seats on top that you've got a, there's a little, there's a little lever right there. Pump that, pull that guy off. And there's another one right up like that. That seat pops off. So here's where you feel the oil and the oil filter could not be in a worse spot in here from an accessibility standpoint. All right, so we pulled it outside with a little bit more light. Hardest part is getting to that oil filter. You can see it. All right, so this is what you're gonna need. You're gonna need some lube, 10W30, get the FC-W, that's um, good for uh, personal watercraft. And then you're gonna need a filter, a replacement filter. This one's a 5GH13440-61. It could be a dash 20 or 50 or 60. I think the 61 is the, the latest. Really worry about the 5GH13440. And then you're gonna need a filter wrench, some paper towels is handy, a trash can so you don't get messy. And you're gonna need, oh wait, um, you're gonna need, you can, you can find this filter on Amazon. Here's a two pack for 24 bucks. Um, or go to your local marine store and they should probably have one. I'll put a link in the description. But then you're also gonna need a siphon pump to pump out all of the, not all of it, you're not gonna be able to get all of it out, but you're gonna get as much as you, you can out first through the siphon pump. So we're gonna start with that before we change the filter. So check the oil beforehand, but I'll do it again. Just to know where we were at. And you look on the dipstick and there'll be a high and a low and the oil is just a little bit more than halfway up the high-low. It's probably helpful to start it and get the oil warm first, but this is the first of the year. We're not even putting it into the water yet. I'm gonna do my best to siphon out as much of the oil as I can to start. Oh yeah, it's plenty viscous. We do this every year. This jet ski runs probably. Thirty. I don't know, probably thirty hours. Give or take every season. Going to the dentist office, I'm going to give you the suction, suck all the water after they've been chipping away at your plaque on your teeth. Or maybe it's not like that at all. This is the deepest part of the reservoir, so I'm feeling pretty good about what we've done here. Again, you're not going to get all the oil out, but um, as much as you can. I would say we started with an empty tank here. Right here. Pulled out just over two liters, so.
that's going to be good. Okay, so now that we got all the oil out, now we got to get in after the in the filter cavity. What I'm going to use is this thing here. I fabricated this out of a an old I don't know maybe some pretzels came in here. Cut that in half. I'm going to stick this guy down under here. Um, you can see that? Hopefully. And what I'm going to do is try to bring this thing up under there. And hopefully create a, a catch point there. We've got our filter wrench. I like it. It squeezes as you twist so a little at a time. It's the toughest part of this. You can barely see it. And you scratch your arms all up. Alright, moment of the truth. How much oil are we going to lose? Okay. I don't know yet, I can't tell. Just trying to get the thread started without seeing anything. You probably got a better view than I do. I'm gonna hand tighten this. So I get it close. All right, feel good about that. Let's see if we can get this out without, ouch. Got relatively skinny arms, but even still, it's a bear trying to get down in here. If I caught any oil in here, I'm not going to be able to get it out without dumping it, probably. And look at that. There wasn't even any oil to be caught. That's not always the case, however. Better to be safe than sorry. All right, with new oil filter in, we're coming out. Okay, just to to show you the one that I the one that I pulled off. I'm not gonna dip. I'm not gonna put it upside down, but that is the the 61. I think it takes about four and a half quarts, but because we can't get all of the oil out of there, um, we're just gonna fill until we hit the level on the mark. Towels. Two other half used 10W30 FCWs. Might as well cash those out first. You could use a funnel, but this is pretty accessible already. Let's check our level now. Eighth of an inch over the full line. And so with that, we're going to call it good.
Hope that that was helpful for you. Do a little bit of clean up here. Thanks for watching. Hope it was helpful. Again, this was the, uh, the Yamaha 1100 VX Cruiser 2015. And we need to get re-registered before we put it in the water. So, um, reminder, make sure that your vehicles are registered. Um, otherwise, you'll get a ticket. And that's not good. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Hope it was helpful for someone. If it was, give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more material here in the future. All of our outdoor adventures. We love the lake and it's a lot of fun, but it's also a lot of work and, and we learn things as we go. And so stay tuned for more in the future. We'll see you next time.